Welcome everyone to Game 3 of this Eastern Conference Round 1 matchup. 2 nothing so far. Perhaps the tide can turn in this one. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg alongside. And our sideline reporter tonight is Doris Burke. We'll see Atlanta taking on the Washington Wizards. Taking a look at Washington. They need the boost here from the hometown fans trailing 2 0. It is critical for them to start to edge back into this series. And guys, losing this one would be devastating. For all intents and purposes, this game is a must win. You really have to treat it like a game seven. Exactly. Back on their home court, it's their chance to change the momentum in the series. But you're right, you can't go down three games to none and expect to come back and win the series. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. Kent Bazemore is out there with Paul Mills. Then there's Tim Hardaway Jr. Then there's Howard. Outside, Wall. Morris with the screen for Wall. Out of bounds, Atlanta takes possession. Schroeder outside Millsap goes up at the stripe one up one down two points with his first shot this game I don't know maybe they're still working out the kinks on D because that clearly was a breakdown well now we go to Doris Burke who spoke with Randy Whip. Doris he had the demeanor you might expect from a coach in his situation after dropping the first two in hostile territory he recognizes the task they have in front of them he said we didn't get it done on the road and now we have to take care of business at home simple as that let's see how it plays guys thanks again Doris and I like how he puts himself in position there to finish on the break yeah you know that's what we call seeing and feeling the game excellent read of how that play was going to develop and where the ball was going that's stuff that you oftentimes can't teach Greg <laughs> Kicks to Gortat. Nails the baby hook. And how about the bounce pass there being used to perfection? Hawks have gone two or three here to start off the game. Schroeder with the ball. He's picked up by Walt. Schroeder passes to Howard. Throws down the alley oop slam. Boy, the pass there floated up to the precise spot where it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish, huh? He powers it through. Sure didn't waste any time there. And guys, that's an alley-oop I guarantee you will be seeing on the highlight reels for the next few days. Good on the shot. Yeah, poor job defensively, giving him such a clear look at the basket from three-point range. Over kicks to Millsap. Tries it from the top of the key. And it comes off the front of the rim. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Morris a screen. Beal, that's for two. And that comes off the assist by John Wall. Beal's got his first points of the night. That was an outstanding kick that gave him the room to bury the jump shot. Underrated, but not undervalued. Shoots from the baseline, and that one's good. And it looks like he might just be on his A game today, Clark. Wizards have gone three of five shooting the ball so far. All with it. There's a screen by Gorton. It's Beal on the wing. Morris with a screen on Hardaway. They get the rebound. Morris, no good. Not too much congestion in the lane. I think he could have gotten a better shot that time. No question. Works it to Bayesley. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Like at six. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. That's on marching Gorcha. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup exactly what you need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. You're much better off making him go to the line. The Atlanta shoot their first free throw. First trip to the line in this one. That one is off. And 
he's good on the second. Washington trailing. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. It's Wall with the drive. Beal gets a wide open look. A three-pointer off the mark. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Screen by Howard. The Schroeder. Atlanta gets it back. Here's Millsap. The shot no good. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. All against Hardaway. For three. And he gets it to go. Great pass. John Wall is really good at finding the open man. And now the first timeout called here for the Hawks. They are pumped right now after a big win on Sunday. They just weren't challenged. I mean, nearly as much as they should have been in that game, at least when they had the ball. Yeah, it was a mismatch. I mean, the defense from the start was on its heels practically the entire game. Wizards making a switch here. Mahini's checked in. The Wizards with the lead. And that one hits back iron. And the D does just enough to throw off his rhythm on that shot. Over kicks to Millsap. Out to Hardaway. Back to Millsap. Six to shoot. Top of the key. Rebound by Mahimi. Washington's gone two of four from beyond the arc to start the game. Three-pointer. Rebound Atlanta. Now here's Schroeder. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. And the pass to Howard. Hard away. Screen by Howard. Hard away dishes to Howard. Can't hit. And Washington the other way now. And Beal kicks the wall. To the left side wing. To the wing on the left. And there's a nice one-handed slam. And that is a major league flush right there, my friends. And in a tight contest like this, Greg, that might be just what they need to get the tide rolling in their direction. You're exactly right. I mean, so often when a team gets that kind of explosive play out of its backcourt, that can really rally and galvanize the whole squad. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. And good on the basket. Look it. Wall's got eight points. And he came off that screen, and the D just didn't get over the top of it. Yep. Weren't there in time enough to challenge, Greg. And when that's the case, you can mark those up for him. Well, not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Here's Schroeder. No good. And they can't put an end to this drought. Wizards leading by six. One thirty-six left to play in the first quarter. And the foul called on Tim Hardaway Jr. That's his first foul. So both teams making some changes here. Smith left side kicks it to Mahimi. Here's Ubre. Calderon pulls it in. Excellent. Really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that one. Make it two hands for safety. That's what they say, right, Kevin? Yeah, that's right. You got it. And he was also safe with that dunk. No reason not to be. And, and guys, as he should be, remove all doubt on that attack. Mike Dunleavy, he's checked in for Dennis Schroeder. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Wizards. Boy, the three-point shot has really been dropping for him early on. And also another aspect of their game that's been super so far tonight is how they've been sharing the basketball. Bogdanovich, no luck. I guess.